watching Amit the Verma. Today I wanted to dive into a topic that I know intimidates a lot of us. Oftentimes whenever we're working on a project our focus goes right to the furniture. But one big area, one that we often ignore and push off until the very, very end when we're completely out of our budget, is how we're going to address our windows. So today I wanted to talk about a few of my favorite ways to address window treatments to help you get further along in your projects. One big question that I get asked is do I have to dress all of my windows? If you've got a set of windows that you're just not concerned about privacy, the answer to that question is no. Many homes come with a beautiful wall of windows looking into an outdoor patio or perhaps a beautiful gallery of window walls along a staircase. And so there's no need for you to cover those windows unless you want to protect against the sun or of course if you have privacy issues. Now I'm gonna share a few of my insider tips and really show you my favorite styles of window treatments. I have two or three go-to styles that I always use on every single project and I'm going to explain to you why I use these different type of styles and for which windows are applicable for. My first favorite style of window treatments are elegant and simple drapery panels. They really are one of the very best styles of window treatments. I know it sounds simple, but when you're thinking about a solution that can complement all the different styles of furnishings that you may have in one room or one general, general area, this is really one of my favorite styles of window treatments. Now here are a few tricks that I like to use when I'm working with beautiful drapery panels. One, I like to take my rod all the way to right under the crown molding. I especially love this trick on a home with lower ceilings, such as some of the homes with 8 foot ceilings and maybe a little bit lower or a little bit higher. This really helps elongate the wall space and make your face feel just a little bit taller. I always love to include about a 1 to 2 inch puddle onto the floor. Now this is totally personal preference, there's no right or wrong. I have customers who don't want puddling at all because they feel that it's very traditional. But whenever I'm working on a project, I love to include a slight puddle as it has a little bit of formality and a little bit of elegance to the window treatment. You can take this very elegant, simple style of drapery and really dress it up as much as you like. You can include a beautiful French pleat at the top of the window treatment. You can add gorgeous decorative trim all along the edging of your drapery panels or you can use a beautiful solid or pattern fabric to really add a gorgeous layer of design and fabric into any project. I love this style of drapery and I use it on every single type of project that I get to work on. I use it in bedrooms, great rooms, dining rooms, living rooms, and so many more places. Often people ask me if I have a half window, would I still use a long drapery panel to address that window? Yes, I may use a longer drapery panel depending on the design of the room, but generally speaking you can use a longer panel even on a half window. But if I'm working on a shorter height window, I tend to go for my next favorite style of window treatment, which is either a Roman shade or a balloon shade. There are some areas where perhaps you may want to cover a door glass panel or over a kitchen sink where you may need a window treatment, but panels are just not going to work in that area. These can add a very tailored, elegant style to your project. I often use these in conjunction with the other styles that I'm sharing with you today. These also work very well in a younger person's bedroom where you may not want long panels in the reach of little young hands. I love using these in spaces such as door panels, laundry rooms, kitchens, and any other areas where I have a window that needs a shorter window treatment style. Now what if you already have a window treatment in place such as blinds? I know many people love blinds and even use them as a starting point until they get to the point where they're ready for fabric selections or have the time or the budget to really work on window treatments. Here is one of my favorite insider secrets on how to work with both. If I have a room where I want to keep my blinds, but I still want to add a window treatment, I love adding a valence to that room. A valence is a style of top treatment that you can add to the top of your windows. Sometimes you will see these with drapery panels or without. 
This is a great way to keep and hide blinds up above behind the day lens, but to also give your room that finished and complete look that only window treatments can provide. So there you have it. You've got my short list on my top three window treatment styles. Now before you leave, I'd love for you to leave a comment in the comment section and let us know what do you struggle with when you're working on your windows. I know this is a tough one. What is your favorite style of window treatments? Do you love heavy fabric draperies or simply nothing at all? And if you know someone that would love to learn about the best ways to dress your windows, please be sure to share this video with him or her. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep working on your home and making it special with your special touch. Find opposites attract and they do so because opposite personalities can come together and bring out the very best qualities in both of you. I know